To me, it's very important that my daughter is is accepted into the community, into um, the school, and in her life. So her life is meaningful. So she's got something to wake up in the morning and, and look forward to, whether that's going to school, whether that's going to a job, something that's meaningful, something that gives her purpose. And she's got a lot to contribute to society, and and she deserves that, just like every other person. There's always improvements that need to be made, that can be made. Um, and really, I think the biggest struggle is everybody's roles and responsibilities, and I don't believe they understand. I don't think they get the support, especially classroom teachers. They've got a very important role, and I don't believe that, that they are instructed on that role. They're not getting that information. Um, they're not learning that necessarily in university, that role, the role between the classroom teacher and EAs. Um, and I think that's the largest, right now, the largest obstruction to successfully having inclusive education. You know, her peers, they're growing up with her. They're growing up with, with children and, and people with disabilities, and they're very accepting. I think it's the adults that are, are the ones with the biases and with the, with the problems sometimes.